Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Cathedral of Velvet podcast. It is your boy, once again, Padre Show. Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. And oh man, we are already halfway through October 2023. Is almost over, guys. We're almost over, but we we still got two more months to go. We still have two more months. But oh, oh man. Um, you know, I'm not not gonna lie. I, I think not much has happened in between the last two weeks. If I'm if I'm gonna be completely honest, yeah, not not much has happened. Like n- n- not that big news happened. Uh, we, we some new trailers came out. Some new trailers for uh, P5T and uh, Reload came out. That that is definitely that happened. Uh, in the last two weeks uh but anything major um i, I think this might be uh th- 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 this might be a short uh episode for you guys so um, if this is sub uh an hour i'll be very surprised well i won't be surprised but if we do make it uh past an hour hey <laughs> that, that that'd be cool uh but uh yeah well you know as always you know we, we spend like the first you know five maybe ten minutes talking about you know what's been happening in irl life and um and and yeah so um past two weeks uh let's see um oh I've, i finally got past them <laughs> uh one of like the major bosses in nikkei that was something like i've spent like weeks just trying to like like get, get all the materials so i can level up properly and it was just like that boss was so hard like it was just like i i even like i made a video on the main channel called uh my experience uh with um uh uh when the guys in victory nikkei it, it's about an hour long i, I went to it went, went deep into it uh please, please check it out i'll leave a link uh down in the description below so you guys can check it out but yeah, I've I've really tried to um I I, I cover like my base in my year like almost a year in re- review with uh with the game and like it, it was it was a really fun game I definitely did, did enjoy uh the anniversary is coming up like literally I think it's either next week or the week after it's definitely before Halloween uh yep yeah, next week they're having an uh uh anniversary stream or like a pre-anniversary stream so they're basically announcing whatever they're doing for the anniversary of the following week so i am very excited of what they're what they might show um not sure if i'm gonna be uh doing my reactions to it i am not sure i might i might not sure if it's gonna be uh you know like live streaming the reactions or uh it all depends on um uh, What's going on with my schedule because i think i might be uh i might have work early in the day so i might be able to catch it at night but uh i i'm, I'm not sure because there's like a japanese one and a global one so those might be like two different things or something like that but i'm not entirely sure so uh, i do have to check up on that um let's see what else um Oh, I've been like trying to like uh like I've been buying my materials for like a uh, a costume for like Halloween for <laughs> if there is a Halloween party like either at at my car shop or like at a friend's party I'm just gonna be like yeah I'm I'm, I'm gonna be wearing that it's uh I I don't want to spoil it but uh it, it is it was it's based off of uh, me that was like sort of popular uh, uh earlier this year so uh. If you go through the memes that happened this year, they, you, you you might find it, you might not, but uh, um, yeah, like I have basically majority of it, like I have three out of the five materials, and I just like recently just bought the last two, cause like I was checking like okay when when is when's the earliest available day I'm able to get this, and it's like oh between like the 27th and the 31st like oh hopefully i can get on the 27th mm, I, I really knew before then <laughs> but uh yeah I, I got a majority of it one thing i have a bit of an issue is that like i have like a 
well it, it's something electronic that i'm trying to like change replace the batteries and put in fresh new ones but like i just can't um i, I just can't un, um unscrew it because it's like it's like very tight um but i'm gonna try my best to try to replace the batteries within that hopefully i'm able to do that but um yeah um work is kind of all right uh we did get a new guy that that's pretty good and he actually has you know work ethics you know he's he's actually you know uh he can actually work and not just like uh <laughs> not not just like oh you're just gonna do something for like five minutes then go and take on break for 20 you know that that's good so I'm, I'm glad you know we have him on 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 our side you know actually being you know supportive um what else has happened um I'm trying to see in terms of like other games and whatnot uh oh yeah um on the main channel i pass us uh 1.7k subscribers so that is really good uh thank you guys if you guys have been subscribing to there uh thank you that is really great uh we're getting ever so close to 2k 300 300 away from two two thousand subscribers so if you guys are able to please subscribe to to the main channel that'd be really great um let's see let's see um i don't think i have much else um i think probably within uh the next two or three weeks or so I might be getting something in the mail that I do want to try to do a stream of, uh, just depending on when it comes in, cause uh, it, it's an imported item, so like it's ho ho hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll come in soon. Just you know, we we just don't know when. Um, like the last time it was like a bit on the tracking site, it was on the fifteenth and it, it hasn't updated yet i've i mean i'll i'll wait another day or so just see because i the the uh, the shipping choice i chose was like kind of like one of the least expensive ones so they say it was like oh between like a week to 27 days 24 days so i i i i'll be a patient guy with that um yeah i'm i'm thinking about what happened within the past two weeks huh um i i guess not that much happened like we've already gone through a uh, tokyo game show um oh um i think it's something like brazil game event or something like that happened so there, there was information or like that was an event that happened um but nothing major really if i if i would say this so um but th th that's just my opinion and it's not not that much uh not that much happened if i could be honest but um yeah i think now's a probably a good time if we you know continue on with the the news that happened the, these uh past two weeks uh, let me just make sure that uh got everything up and ready and uh oh nope i have got one more thing one more thing uh let me just get this ready and uh do, 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 do. is one more thing no 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 two more things i i almost forgot two more things hey guys this episode is sponsored by dubby W is a clean energy drink that's made to give you focus with no crash, jitters, or inks like other energy drinks. I just got myself the W sample pack, which comes with this little tumbler, and also comes with four flavor packs. Got the peach and beach, or beach and peach. <laughs> comes with the dub squat, sludge, my man, sludge. I'm reading it backwards. <laughs> Uh, then we got the Dragonade. I should probably look at it first then. Do a thing. And then the Galaxy Grenade. 
So we're going to try one of these today and uh, I'll, I'll tell you how, how I honestly think about it. All right, so out of the four here, let's try, let's try the Dragon Maid. Let's see you know, how this tastes. All right, so here we have the Dragon Fruit. It is, of course, well, not Dragon Fruit, the Dragon Maid. Dragon Maid. Uh, it has Dragon Fruit in it, which I never had. And uh, Pink Strawberry Lemonade, which I also never had. <laughs> but, uh, smells pretty good, smells pretty good. So, uh, here we go. Cheers. Alright, alright, it's, it's, it's not that bad, not that bad. Like, it, it reminds me of like a certain soda of like, oh man. But like, it was a soda I had as a kid, but like, I, I, I can't really remember, like, like when I was in New York for a bit, and I had like it, but like, ah. Uh, but like, it, it's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> if you guys want to try out the samples shaker yourself, or buy any of the products on Dubby, make sure to use my coupon code POWERJ at checkout to save uh, 10% on your order. So again, that's POWERJ at checkout for 10% off your order. Now, back to the video. Okay, so let me just do that. Uh, slide this over here. And... Do this. And slide this over here. Okay, I think I think I think that is good. All right, so let us just switch on over and and do the news. So again, like always, where this is the news that we're coming is from Persona Central. Please make sure you guys check out the articles. They're linked down in the description below. Please check them out. Uh, any any article links that we look at, all link will be down in the description below. And if there's you know any games we talked about, I'm gonna be leaving an Amazon feeling link down below. So if guys do wanna uh, buy any games that I've, you know mentioned there, it'll be down down in the description below. All right. So again, check out Persona Central. Links down in the description. So first article for the day we have. The Persona Collection Bundle is now released on the PS4, PS5, Switch, and Xbox, and Steam. So yeah, that is readily available right now if you guys want. So Alice has gathered the recent, uh, recently released remastered versions of Persona 3 Portable, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 5 in a bundle called the Persona Collection. Yeah, so the Persona Collection has been released for the PlayStation Store on PS4, PS5, Microsoft Store for Xbox One series consoles, and uh, the Nintendo eShop for the Switch, and lastly, Steam for PC. The bundle costs $89.99 slash $119.99 for Canadian. And then got links to those there. And the description of it is, uh, the Persona Collection includes Persona 5 Royal, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 3 Portable. Persona 5 Royal, uh, don the mask and join the fam thieves of hearts as they stage the green heist, infiltrate the minds of the corrupt, and make them change their ways. Prepare for the award winning JRPG experience in this definitive edition of Persona 5 Royal, featuring a treasure trove of downloadable contents included. Uh, forced to transfer to a high school in Tokyo, the transfer, uh, the protagonist has a strange dream. You are a prisoner of fate, in the near future, Rune awaits you. Uh, with the goal of rehabilitation looming overhead, he must save the others from sordid desires by donning the mask of a phantom thief. Persona 4 Golden, don't touch that dial. It's time for the Midnight Channel. The world-renowned Persona 4 Golden promises unforgettable adventures, meaningful bonds, and heartwarming experience shared uh, together with friends. They say your soulmates will appear if you stay into your television set on a rainy night. Uh, the strange rumor slowly spreads through the rural town of Inaba, the protagonist's new home. Just as a chain of mysterious murder begins, as the protagonist and his teammates chase the truth, they find themselves opening the door to another world. 
And last but not least, Persona 3 Portal. Uh, the Dark Hour strikes twice. Uh, shortly after transferring to Gagakan uh, High School, the protagonist encounters the Dark Hour. A familiar stillness swallows the city. People turn to the eerie coffins and otherworldly monsters called Shadow Swarms. Uh, when they are attacked by one of these shadows and all hope seems lost, the power of the heart, the persona is awakened. Alright. So yeah, uh, if you guys haven't picked up Persona 4, 5, and 3, uh, I don't know why I said, <laughs> I said that or 4, 5, 3. But uh, if you guys haven't picked it up already, it is already available right then and there. $90, it's not bad. Basically like $30 for each. So yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, but if you guys do want, you know, uh, the physical versions, they are available. Well, I mean, some of them. Uh, Persona 5 Royal, it is readily available. We can get it physically. Uh, Persona 3 Portable, it is getting a physical version. Uh, Limited Run Games is doing a physical run of it. And it's currently, at this moment, uh, available for pre-order. Uh, I believe the pre-orders for Persona 3 Portable's uh, physical version ends November... Between the 10th or the 12th, one, one of those two, between those dates. So if you guys want to pick that up, it'll be there. But uh, Persona 4 Golden, will, it will be getting a physical release from uh, Limited Run Games, but it won't start until October 27th. So it will be the following week at the time of this recording. So after, you know, so starting on November 27th, pre orders for the physical version of uh, Persona 4 Golden for. Uh, PS4, uh, Switch, and Xbox, uh, it'll start then. Uh, no PS5 version because basically the PS4 and PS5 versions are basically the same version. So you can just pop in the PS4 disc and it'll play the same same game, same everything. So yeah, um, I'm guessing next week as well where we will see um, probably the Monday of the week. Uh, the following we will see the what the physical version will look like for this game so i'm very excited for that uh i haven't pre-ordered this yet so uh i'll probably pre-order it near when uh when uh before before I pre the pre-order closes so that that's my thing because like november it is <laughs> the last three months of the year is just like horrible because just like so many events happen at at that time and just like uh i can't really be paying paying all this much money and all this so it's just like uh oh man oh man but uh yeah uh so if you guys want you can guys you know get it digitally uh right then now or you know physical whenever but uh yeah that's it for this article so second article for the day is uh, Persona 3 Reload Ikari Takaba trailer has been released. So yeah, uh, that happened, I think, uh, yep, last week. So it was, uh, didn't cover it, uh, I didn't cover it last week. I mean, the two weeks before, because they happened the week after. So yeah, we got, uh, Alice is doing a weekly character trailer. So that's pretty good. So, uh, as previously announced, Alice has released the second character trailer for Persona 3 Reload featuring Yukari Takaba. And, got the trailer here, and if you guys would like, you can check out my reaction to it. Uh, links will be down in the description below. Any support to that would be very great. Very awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, we, we can, uh, you know, just play, play this for a little bit. I thought it was, uh... For a pretty good a trailer. That's what you would have wanted. Which probably uh also uh meet me the back bear her music just in case. So yeah, th th this trailer is pretty good. I, I did enjoy enjoy it. Uh seeing some slightly new you know new stuff in it and you know some bit different stuff happening in it pretty awesome uh the, the voice the voice acting is pretty i i find i find yukari's voice acting all right um <laughs> what are you calling chicken 
Maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, so apparently... Uh, this line here... No. No, uh, after this line. No, oh, okay, uh, so it was like, uh... Uh, yeah, I think it was this line and the next line after this. They were originally in the... The PS2 version, uh, whichever, but they didn't use it for some reason. Uh, but then when portable happened, oh, they we added that those lines back into the, to it. So, uh, and then now they're just a bring that line back into uh, reloads. That was you know very interesting that I found out uh, after uh, this trailer release. So, uh, I I wonder why why they uh, took it out initially. And now this right here, this was something. <laughs> this was like our <laughs> the 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 point five episode of, of the podcast, uh, where just like yo, this this is something big, this is something major that that happened. So this like this footage right here, like p like this was part of the um the leak footage show like it was before it was before Persona Three re Reload was announced. So like er er earlier this year, so I'm just like, oh my god, this is really awesome. This is this is like footage of like the Persona Three remake and all that stuff, and like people were like, I I, had skept I was skeptical skeptical of you know of what the footage was because it's just like, oh wow, this is just like, it never looked like this. Like Persona never really had you know all those like you know lighting and shading so it was just like ooh this is like very interesting very different and people and like you know people thought like oh you know this is this gotta be fake you know because like oh Ikari didn't have her uh evoker on her so like how could she summon her persona and all that stuff but lo and behold the the leaked footage was real. It was of Persona 3 Reload, and it is of Yukari of Yukari's uh, uh third G attack. So it's just it it is really really awesome to you know fi finally see you know like near final uh footage of of that attack. And you're like like that footage we seen like long ago. Like oh, it was actually her third G attack. That's that was really interesting. So uh, yeah, we're really awesome, you know, seeing seeing that. Uh, overall, like the trailer w was pretty good. I I didn't I did like that, and just like <laughs> again seeing that the the old footage updated to to now, that was like really awesome. That was really great. Uh, but, but yeah, um, King. Okay. Uh, we do have we do have another character trailer trailer that we're gonna see. Uh, a little bit well after this so uh yikari is pretty the trailer was pretty good uh so uh the the foot like this is her splash screen whenever she uh finishes off uh um an all-out attack so it's uh there you have it and it says mass destruction behind her so pretty good the, the new uh the new outfit is pretty good that that looks pretty awesome looks pretty nice uh i i do want to see more of it or like you know i do want to see like how it's introduced in, in the game because like i, I do like it but just like eh, a little off a little bit off but it, it's all right it's all right but yeah uh, that's it for uh, this article um and uh please check it out uh you know Links will be a down description below and also my reaction to it. That'd be really great. Uh, next article is the reload uh, Iwatodai dorm trailer. So, uh, yeah, this was at the, the Brazil event. Uh, so scroll down a bit uh, with the Brazil Game Show 2023. So there was Tokyo Game Show and now Brazil Game Show uh, currently happening. Alice has released a new Persona 3 reload trailer featuring the Iwatodai dorms. Uh, which you guys can also check out my reaction to. It, links will also be in the description below. 
Uh, this was, I, I, I do like, uh, it's basically showing off like new features that you can do in the game. So we can just, uh, check this out right here. Welcome back. I had planned to give Yamagishi a tour of the dorm, but I realized I never actually showed it properly to any of you since you moved in. This yeah, so, is the communal. So we're seeing like almost completely brand new stuff happening here. So, uh, yeah, we, we, <laughs> The group never really did uh, get a uh, get get a tour of the area. It was not until like what the the six like six month or so of the game that we actually see it. Kitchen, yeah. but with a kitchen this big, I think a couple people could work together in here. We can have the work, but double the flavor, you know. Wait, is that a DVD player? When did that get here? Yeah, so we're we're seeing uh, yeah. basically like. Din. Uh, we're we're seeing uh all the activities we can do. This is the communal kitchen, but with a kitchen this. So like we can cook with uh the different uh with our party members. We'll probably get some like bond. Uh, well some of them like you know with with the ladies you know get some social links points. The others oh it's like a uh link episode press, but uh hopefully it doesn't waste time. You know that'd be kind of you know. Uh, if it does waste time, like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, kind of iffy on that. Because, you know, there, there's like a lot of things you got to do in this game. So, Big, I think so a we can, can make uh, here. coffee. Can the uh, Shinji, this is, I'm not sure. It looks like, you know, like a, uh, Amurice, probably. Maybe that's Am Amurice. Work, but double the flavor, you know? I mean, yeah, let's talk about rice, so probably. Wait, is that a DVD player? What did that get here? <laughs> and I just love how just like Chubby's just like, oh my god, a DVD player, oh! And I'll remind you guys, like, this is taking place in 2009, but it was like developed, the original game, the original game was, it's taking place in 2009, but it was released in 2006, so just like they have that the DVD uh, VHS combo still a thing, you know, around 2006. Uh, like Blu-rays was slowly, you know, inching in. Like I think 2009, 2010. Uh, actually, look, let me let's check. Well, when did Blu-ray uh debut? When did uh? Well, actually, you know, uh. Yeah, because with the PS3, PS3 could play, you know, Blu-ray disc. So, like, and that came out in 2006. Um, when did the uh, Blu-ray uh, come out? Yeah, 2006. So, so this was, again, before, like, you know, Blu-rays was majorly thing, or it was debuted. Uh, so having that VHS DVD combo was, was pretty spot on. And, uh, you can watch here, you know, watch with, with, uh, you know, with your comrades, you know, gain some experience, some stats, like, uh, charm, uh, academics, all that stuff. Oh, that's mine. I hoped you all might make better use of it. There's Kormaru. This area is pretty sweet. And now we can read books here and, again, nice gain, gain some stats, and too. Let me tell you, those chairs are mwah, soft. When I cozy up here with a good get some book, academics. End up reading way late into the night. All you read is manga. For, for some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising hell. <laughs> All you read uh, is manga. The chairman wanted and to And coming back from Persona 4, uh, could do that in Persona 5, I don't remember, but hey, you can do some gardening on the roof, which we could never have, you know, we never had access to the roof after, you know, the first event, you know? So, after, like, like the first, you know, full moon, well, tutorial boss area. So, pretty awesome that we finally have access to the roof. And that is absolutely great. A small garden here. Uh, are you okay doing this all on your own? Why don't yeah, you help them out, things. Junpei? And, uh, third Jeep, uh... Now, third G, some people say that, you know, with the, the five is, um, Junpei's armband, 
because each of the uh, C's members uh, on their arm and the new one has a different number on it. So I believe Mitsuru's zero, Akiko's one, uh, me or the protagonist is three, Yukari is four, and Jupe is five, and then so on and so forth as you know, uh, as the people joined the party. So all that stuff. So um, people say, oh yeah, it's just his number on his band, but it could be, it, it, or it could be something else. But uh, yeah, you see, like uh, to to gain like the third G meter as it builds up, you gotta land a critical hits. Uh, so so that's how you uh level up or like you gain points for uh, the third G meter, and the attack is a hack and blast to be a uh, deal severe slash damage. To one foe ignoring resistance. Now, Junpei, it's not like you've got anything better to do. And uh, it gives uh, I'm guessing with a third G, it gives a critical boost, which increases critical rate and crit hit strength. So that is pretty good. If there's anything you'd like to do, and also, and after that, we can see that uh, we got you know, 3D area, full 3D map area. So you can see everything happening around the area. So we got like the uh, the main area there. Uh, if you guys can see uh, with my mouse there. If you guys aren't on the audio, please uh, ch check out the video. <laughs> uh, so then there's like the e eating area. Then go around along the line, uh, along the walls. And then there's the kitchen back there. Uh, the check-in area hallway bathroom upstairs and you can see like the different faces or at least the people you can talk to to do some st stuff so like uh yukari's up front uh fuka's in the back there and uh looks like mitsu to the right you'd like and, to do here you uh akigo's middle back there this may be coming a little late for most of you but welcome to the dorm all right so like really really cool trailer we get to see the new stuff that that they're adding to uh to dorm to make it more entertaining some some more stuff that we can do because like if you're like playing new game plus version of of the game like once you have your like your max stat like there's not much you can do so like you're just uh like you can't really do much um so and also like this really helps you you know gain stats like after after school or like uh you know afternoon when there's like uh if you're doing uh you know uh social events during the day and you can't really prove stuff at night like you can like you can go to like the arcade and that'll probably like help you out with that but it can only help you out with so much so like having stuff like within the norms that is really great that is awesome so uh yeah so ha happening at brazil game show that that was that was pretty awesome for for them to do um i i do hope you know hopefully we'll see uh a trailer for the social links because we really haven't seen much of them yet so hopefully we'll we'll, we'll see it soon and uh also just bring that back on there we go so yeah uh that's another like basically like, two trailers within the last two weeks so yeah so there's that uh again links will be down in the description below as well as my reaction please check that out this portion of the podcast is sponsored by you the patrons on patreon.com slash cafe podcast as low as three dollars a month, you can support me and the podcast with benefits such as exclusive posts, early access to the podcast, no in-video ads, your name scrolling in the video, and much more. So please consider supporting your boy over at patreoncom slash podcast. And now back to the show. And uh, uh, we can also uh, we have a new trailer that I actually haven't checked out. It's a Persona 5 Tactics PVO3 trailer so that I have not seen. So let us, you know, continue on. Uh, as previously announced, Alice has released uh, the third main trailer for Persona 5 Tactics, 
Uh, the trailer shows off more of the game's story, along with snips of the Repaint Your Heart DLC episode featuring Gorokechi and Kasumi Yoshizawa. Okay, so this will actually be my first time reacting to it, so uh, we can check that out. Let me just mute the audio here. So, um, again, pretty annoyed that, uh, you know, it's a uh, day one story DLC is just like being advertised as very annoying. I hate that. So, um, yeah, well, let's check this out. Now, is this in English or is it? Wait, uh, let me, let me try to find the, uh, English version. Yeah, it's my English version. Uh, Atlas West, perhaps? Uh, let's see, let's see. Mm, no uh okay J just want to see uh and there is no subtitles okay so uh, unfortunately we're just stuck with the japanese dub okay so let's see what's going on <laughs> is this where you get your persona <laughs> ライトオーダーの目的はもとの世界に帰ろう。この場所は今、悪の支配者によって救助されているのである。残念だよ。簡単には出られないのである。じゃあ、このまま<笑> 懐かしの振り切る模型か。とにかくやるしかねえ。やばいぞ。あちこちでどんどん敵の反応が。What the heck is going on here? Okay, so that's the all out attack. Ooh, got stabbed. Shinjitai to you, Negaiba. Tokini Shingan will come to sit. Damat the Kotomo Dozaida. Is this where you gain your persona? Gotta be getting persona, right? I'm loving Lin's music here. Wait, who, who are you? Hey, okay, he's the second area boss. You know that. I'm gonna guess that there's gonna be a PBO4 with the last area, perhaps? Yeah, there's his persona. Oh, no, no way. Hold up. Train? Lavenza? That's, yeah, okay. Okay, that, that's probably part of the main story. And then there's probably gonna show some, yeah. Oh, they, this is really great showing, you know, day one story DLC. That's that's absolutely great. Totally didn't, you know, could, couldn't do post game, you know, uh, content. But no, DLC, no.
Ok. Alright. Uh, I do want to see... Like, I mean, from, from like, the look of, of him here, kind of looks evil. Kind of. Or is he just, like, mad at someone? Mad at the villain? Like, that looks like the top of, like, the, the top of the, the school there. But, um, or, or the gel. I'm, I'm not really sure what that is. And, like, I'm seeing here, like, a bit of red there. So, like, I'm feeling like it's, like, because, like, the pre, like, the villain for, like, the second era, he has a red face. And, uh, not sure if you're considering, like, the villain for the first era, you know, kind of having, like, a red face, too. She was pink, but it's a sort of shade of red. <laughs> you know, just add a bit of white in there, and it's that. But I'm guessing that he's a villain for the fourth area, perhaps. Maybe, maybe. I have no idea, like how you know that that's gonna happen. Like again, like with no subtitles or anything like that, I have no idea how how it's gonna go. Like I, I'm just assuming, like you know, he's gonna be like a. Uh, like, uh, uh, like, he's gonna be a new Persona user, but, like, like, with the theme, or, like, how, how, like, like, these guys look, like, it kind of fit, fit, fits the new guy's look a little bit, but, again, not really sure, but, like, like, his, his whole deal is just, like, uh, like, he, he doesn't fight or anything like that, that, like, or, like, he doesn't have the ability to ability to fight so uh we're I'm, I'm just not sure about like how you know he's gonna be you know involved with all of this so yeah um i'm guessing you know before you know the launch of the game next month they're gonna do one more trailer perhaps they're, they're probably gonna do that i think so yeah so, um, just continuing on with the, the article, uh, the PVO2 trailer was released in August, revealing Second Kingdom and the downloadable content, yep, with that, and, uh, p 5 t will be released worldwide on 17th, on uh, basically every platform, yeah, so, yeah, uh, no idea how this is gonna go, uh, just, just wanna see if, uh, if, if there's anything happening in the comments here, um, uh, no, not much really, but, uh, yeah, I'm, th this segment's probably gonna be, uh, part, part of a reaction video for the main channel, so, hey, if you guys wanna check that out, uh, it'll probably be out the same time as the, as the, uh, as the main video on the YouTube channel, so, yeah, uh, check it out there. <laughs> But uh, we do have one last article. Again, I like I said, it's, it's a pretty sh this is gonna it, it's a pretty short week or pretty short uh, terms of uh, news. So uh, what we got here is the Junpei Yori character trailer, which you guys can definitely check out right here. It was released at the time of this recording yesterday, and like. <laughs> I, I said that this one video, but like, it, it literally came out at the time of starting uh, Discotex Media like uh, live stream. So it was just like, uh, which one do I choose? Do I watch the trailer or do I watch the trailer that only lasts like a minute and a half, or do I watch the two plus hours live stream of anime announcements? Uh, I'm gonna go with the two plus hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did get this it was just i did watch this it's just like it, it happened later so yeah so jubei yori's trailer so uh alice has released the third character trailer for persona 3 reload featuring one of the protagonist's classmates jubei yori so let me just again mute the background audio so you guys can hear this why do you have these flowers what the heck, dude? What's your deal?
and also like for some reason like the audio just sounds like very muffled i'm i'm not sure i'm pretty sure it's like it's from the video itself like i mentioned that in, in my reaction just like it was like very muffled or is this like a crush thing because this is too much love to handle good evening and welcome to junpei's believe it or don't there are many strange things in this world legend has it late at night maniacal you know, roams the hall yeah, he's not doing a bad on, you know version of junpei I, I will say it's not that bad let's see let's beat him to a pump he's all out check that's a game oh, I mean, so yeah we we have uh, like a new what? link episode um it's happening the on the 8th so um i'm like i've seen people say under the comments of my uh, reaction video saying like oh this might be related to story talking about oh you know uh yeah, when we came this guy who saw kids, and then it goes into uh, goes into this. I'm trying to remember, like, like did did uh, Koromaru and like and Ken join at this time? <laughs> I could have sworn like it was in like in September that actually happened, but I mean, if it did happen in August, it's like eh, all right. Glorious day. Such a shame that the third years and the ladies won't be joining us. Um, if we're splitting watermelons, I'm out. What? Just like that? You know, I, I... Well, two things. Like, one, uh... Ken's voice here does sound better. I, I will say he does sound better in, in this, uh... In this trailer. But also, like... <laughs> like, I, I do like seeing, like, the, the tan, like... Like, Jujube is, like, from, like, the neck down. Like, he's just, like, pasty white. But, like, his head is just, like, sort of tanner there. <laughs> what? Just like that? Yeah, the audio just sounds very... Audio sounds very muffled for some reason. I feel like they haven't, like, rendered the, the audio right. But, like... But anyway, like the overall like trailer for Jube is, is pretty good. Why do you have and like uh I did mention like uh like uh in the reaction just saying, Oh well when the heck is this, like the flowers part of like and yeah and people say like oh it might be part of either the uh Chidori events uh uh key uh for for one of the keys or it's just like uh or, or it was like part of uh, FES where you talked to GP about that. It, it, it was along the lines of that. But uh, yeah, uh, Zeno's not not doing too bad with uh, with Junpei. It's just uh, <laughs> my, my my love for Persona Three and like Portable, like is just. Uh, uh, you, 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 you can't be the original like you like you you can't you can't um like yeah, like it's it's good it, it could be better you know I'm, I'm not gonna lie could be better like yeah you know what, what people say <laughs> more like stupid ace defective <laughs> ace defective <laughs> <laughs> uh those like high MDZ daisy comics though those, those, those are pretty good uh but yeah you know cool seeing you know the sort of like you know updated stuff here uh the cutscenes looking pretty good what oh, I, I didn't want to take a look at his uh, skill set here because we only start like very Let's briefly see. Like, uh, like it, it barely, it was barely on screen for like a second. Okay, so currently at at this moment, he has Rikaja, Assault Dive, Miragi, Torrent Shot, Agilau, 
Blade Fury and Foul Assault. All right, it's okay, it's not bad. Of course, there's like a was uh slashes blades uh strike assault uh is assault dive and piercing is foul assault. Yeah, there we go. So just trying trying to remember like like the the three physical attacks you can do because <laughs> like and like the the icon is a bit different, so it's just like. Trying to remember, okay, which goes into what? Is that is that right or is it not? Like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, you can also see, uh, like the the third meter is Max Rakiko, so whenever it's his turn, he can just pull up and all that stuff. And I do want to check something. I just want just got hide the screen for just a moment. Uh, okay, let me just find this. Uh, oh, okay, so yeah, I was like thinking about like, uh, uh, the, the appearance of, uh, the characters. Oh, okay, so like, I, I said earlier, like, oh yeah, uh, the protagonist number three, but like, I, I I was I I miscounted <laughs> so yeah um, Mitsuru's zero Akiko's one Shinji's two protagonist three Yukari's four Jimmy's five Fuka six I guess seven uh Karma eight Ken's nine all right so I was thinking like okay so the order of you know the next uh the next characters uh for like uh uh I don't know for for the next character trailer. So we have these three done. We're probably going to see Mitsuru next. Then Akihiko. Right. Me trying to highlight. And then pro after that, Uka, Igus, Ken, I mean, Kormar, and then Ken. Or, or they might just put Ken and Kormar together because, I mean, just Kormar's dog doesn't, he doesn't add anything to the story. So it's just like, you know, to just like save, you know, some time and space. They might put those two together, perhaps. I mean, that would be beneficial, you know. But, uh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think about, you know, what might be coming up that, that they might do, um, a new trailer. Um, let me just check, uh, Jump Fest, uh, 2023. When is that happening? Okay, it's happening December. So, you might get a new trailer uh then and also so uh so we got one two three four five six seven seven trailers so uh one two uh three four five six seven so yeah like when uh tokyo game show i mean uh jump festa it would basically be like a like a week gap between like the end of the last character trailer and probably you know a uh, trailer at jump festa props because um the last trailer last character trailer we would probably get would be on would be the week of december the 4th so and uh jump festa is happening december 17th and the 18th and that's happening on uh Wait. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> oh no. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I was like thinking about like, wait, what? When is uh? Because I see Jump Festa twenty twenty three, but then what's is Jump Festa twenty twenty four? Yes, it, it is Jump Festa twenty twenty four. Okay, oh, they, they do like the, the FIFA WWE 2K thing. So it's this year is Jump Festa 2024, despite wearing 2023. It's happening the 16th and 17th. So, yeah, we're probably going to get trailer the following week, the week of Monday the 11th. So we sh we might be getting a trailer there. That'll, you know, like, that, that, that'll wrap it up, you know, probably pretty good. And then probably sometime in january we'll get the final trailer and then you know whenever or probably late january early february we'll get that final trailer and you know, that, that probably it for the trailers itself 
Uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's probably it for the the major news that's you know been coming out this past uh these past two weeks. Yeah, like basically just trailers and all that stuff. Um, no major news really. There was something like I've seen people talking about like a like uh, an article of people saying like oh yes um like there's been no like story chain changes to uh Persona 3 reload and people are saying oh you know they could be lying about that you know saying there's no major you know story changes but there is and all that stuff and like okay i, I can kind of see that you know because um some devs lie saying like oh yeah this is not happening in the game and then that actually happens in the game so i'm i'm more on the side leaning towards you know they haven't changed anything major in terms of story in the game i i, I really like they, they really say they say like you know it is a faithful recreation for remake uh persona 3 vanilla persona 3 so Oh, hopefully, you know, everything goes all right. I really hope they didn't lie and say like, oh, they and they actually did change something major. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sh like I, I'm very iffy on it, very iffy. But um, yeah, I think, you know, that's about just for this like um not, not much really not 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 much not nothing major really has happened um so yeah we babe outside of that like um uh oh yeah uh did the yakuza thing happen this past two weeks um Wait, let me just see, cause yeah, cause I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, no, no, that that, that happened way before that. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, wait, did that actually happen? But no, no, no. Um, but yeah, mm, pretty, pretty, you know, pretty slow week, pretty slow week. But uh, obviously, with the next episode of the podcast, there's gonna be another like two trailers out that'll, that'll come out. And pretty sure it's gonna be happening on the Mondays. Mondays, so just like uh, I'll probably like uh, the next episode probably watch and record the reaction to the tr character trailers, and then after that, uh, record the podcast. So you know I'll be you know right up there, you know. So it'll be you know uh, you know like be be current with with the news and all that stuff. So yay. <laughs> uh but yeah oh and one thing i i totally forgot to mention like uh, what happened between like the last two weeks uh unfortunately like my my second monitor if you can call it that like <laughs> like it died it was like a hd tv that like a uh, before i got my my 4k one it was my it was my first hd tv that i got in 2014 <laughs> Yeah, it took me up until 2014 to have my own HDTV in my own room. So, yeah, like, I was, it was my sophomore year? Yeah. No. No, yeah. No? Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, no. No, I think it was... Thing. how long has it been <laughs> uh like it's either my sophomore year or no my junior year or my senior year in high school because i think i got it uh oh uh i think it was because it was in 2014 at least uh at least that, that's what's on the, the back of the TV where it's just like, oh yeah, uh, made in June 2014. So I got it at least in 2014. So that could either be 
my junior year or my senior year of high school. I'm, I'm leaning towards my my my, my junior year because I feel like, no, I, I couldn't possibly just got my first HGTV while I was a senior in high school. No, uh, but, but yeah, like it died. It survived nine years and like I like in the morning, like I just, you know, about to turn on the TV, turn on my PC and then just like oh, nothing was showing up on on the TV. It was like, why is it black? Well, why is nothing showing up? It was just like, uh, okay, I'd like to try changing the channels on. It's like, okay, nothing's coming up. Uh, and then I just see like, uh, like these two like gray bars on, on the TV. It's like, what? And then like, uh, I turn it off, turn it back on. Then I see like, oh, like, like these blue like smears on it. It's like, okay, let me just Google this. What's going on? And it says like, oh, uh, seems like your uh, TV is malfunctioning and uh, sucks for you. You have to get a new one. So it's just like, whoop, I wasn't expecting to spend money today. So I had to get, go out and, and like get a new monitor. So I got this like, uh, it was basically like a hundred dollar monitor uh, from Walmart. So it's like, you know, I, I don't really need much, you know, for a second monitor. And I'm like, I was looking for a monitor to get, you know, for as technically as a third monitor <laughs> before it died. So it was just like, well, I guess I, I have to get a new monitor. So I got this, I, I downgraded from a 32 inch down to a 24 inch. No man ha ever, ha no man should ever have to lose eight inches. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a 24 inch, uh, 165 Hertz refresh rate, uh, monitor. It's an own, uh, brand on, on brand. Oh, and then period brand. It's just like, yeah, I'll, I'll get it. Like it's kind of small. Like I can barely see, you know, from like, I usually, you know, uh, check, use my computer on my bed, like a, you know, like near like the pillows and all that stuff so it's just like ah oh, man uh wish it was bigger wish it was but uh fortunately i got i got do what i can and i didn't realize that you know the monitors doesn't or most monitors doesn't have uh um or have a uh, audio out or like speakers built in so i always had to get speakers to plug into the monitor so I can actually have sound it because majority of the time when I use my uh, computer, the audio comes out from the TV while I have the 4k TV used as the, um, basically more like, uh, YouTube apps or like Hulu, Netflix, well, I used to use Netflix, uh, and all that stuff. So having, uh, the computer sound come from the t other TV, just like, yeah, th that works. But, I had to get the separate uh, speakers and plug into that, so that would work. But, uh, yeah. And <laughs> that, that was the major thing that happened within the past two weeks. I had to upgrade my, so upgrade slash downgrade my monitors. <laughs> Whichever, would you consider that an upgrade or would you consider that a downgrade? You know, going from a 32 uh, inch TV to a 24 inch computer monitor. So, let me know in the comments, you know, uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to call it. And I, again, I'm surprised that I was able to make it to, <laughs> to an hour, but like, I guess it gives that story counts. Uh, but yeah, um, thank guys for watching. Uh, again, like I said earlier, uh, all, all the links used in, in, in this video will be down in the description below. Please check out Persona Central because the, these guys are doing the news. These guys are doing the hard work. Please check them out. Uh, also check out my reaction videos. I've also listed there. And if you guys want to pick up the games that have been mentioned, if they have an Amazon link, I will leave an Amazon film link there uh, in, the, in the description. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching 
and also thank you to the patrons you guys are very awesome your name should be scrolling up on the screen right about now thank you guys for your support and all you do uh if you, you guys really help out a bunch so thank you guys very much for for your support whether it be you know through the patreon through uh watching the videos liking or you know listening to the audio versions you know which is available you know amazon uh google apple youtube all there so yeah thank you guys for first support with all those stuff there and um yeah uh i will see you guys soon with the next episode of the cathedral of velvet podcast i will see you guys next time bye